What is going on for one two boy Jake here and welcome back to another video and today we got some more discussion and topics and for today this is my top 10 video games for Sonic games of all time which ones are the top 10 Sonic games of all time in my opinion so, so if you guys can do me a favor make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of these videos and also topics and discussions like top 10s or anything like that like a tier list in this videos but with that being said let's get started so if anyone does not know this by now i am a huge sonic fan i always been a sonic fan since when i was a little kid i always love playing the video games i always love um getting the plushies and also the toys all that stuff like i really enjoyed sonic a lot and of course 2024 is the year of sonic because we're getting a lot of stuff for sonic coming out this year of course we got the knuckle show that's coming out this year and like this year actually in this month sonic prime season three just and it wasn't bad just wish it could have been better and also we have got sonic as shadow generations which is coming out probably in a fall pretty sure that game is probably going to be good and we'll see and find out last but not least sonic movie 3 this is going to be like the biggest movie ever for this year and also might be the biggest year for this decade because like it's Shadow. Of course, like this is Shadow the Hedgehog. Everyone loves this character and I include myself. Let's see who the voice actor is going to be. That's probably going to be a different video pretty soon. And now let's get to the top 10s. So this is my number 10 favorite game for Sonic the Hedgehog, which is Sonic and the Black Knight. Look, to be honest with you, I actually enjoy this game, but uh, the only thing I liked about it was the story overall. I mean, I get it, like, the mechanics and also the, like, the freaking Wii remote you always have to do on the Wii. It's stupid. I get it. The slashing is kind of, like, a little enjoyable. It's cool, but the combat's just, like, wow. L like, what just happened to this combat? In my opinion, it's a good narrative game. It's definitely not bad, but the combat and the gameplay of this... It's not good. It's definitely not good at all. But the one thing I liked about it was just Sonic Dunking Gold, like Super Sonic, Super Gold of the Black Knight. It was so awesome. And I really liked that overall from the game. That's why it's in my top 10. I mean, the cutscenes are actually pretty enjoyable, but not bad really, but it gives you some context of what the story is all about. But this leads to my top nine of all time for the Sonic games, which is Sonic Heroes. This game is just, I mean, it's not, bad but it could have been better i mean there's other games for sonic that are actually pretty enjoyable but overall the cutscenes are not bad i just wish it was kind of like overall pretty good but now like the gameplay though i mean it's kind of like a little generic it's just like three teams of like team dark team chaotix and like team heroes and also team rose it's just you playing the gameplay and just following between the characters of see what's happening like competing against other bosses and like sometimes it gets to the same thing but not really in this game i just wish it could have been more better but overall i still enjoy my time playing this game i really enjoyed this when i was a little kid i always like play this with my br brothers and all that stuff but i remember owning this game when i had it when i was a little kid on the gamecube and so overall i still enjoyed it and i'm hoping it gets like a remaster but it probably it won't we'll see yes sir finally we have finally got my top eight favorite sonic game of all time which is sonic zero gravity and also this game is really enjoyable i still enjoyed a lot of zero gravity it's just like it's a rider game that this you have like other characters that are in the game it's just like billy hatcher's in the game like silver the hedgehog's in the game blaze like all that stuff I'm like it's super crazy how they do it, but they're not involved with the story that's like kind of like my biggest complaint about that it's just like i mean in the, in the other game we'll get to that soon but for this one, I just wish it couldn't involve like the story between other characters. That could have been my option and my opinion on that. But the story overall is pretty solid in the game. It just follows up to between Jet and also Sonic as well in the story and see where it takes them. Like they get the zero gravity um power and it's, and it's pretty good in the game too as well for the gameplay when you're like just riding with your buddies and all that stuff and it's pretty enjoyable but yeah there's like nothing to take on that game but still i still enjoy it overall i still like had like the wii of the game i still did but i mean of course you can like just play on your pc or anything like that if you like get your um other stuff but yeah it's definitely good i really hope they make it like a sonic riders game or anything like that in the near future but we already know what happened to free riders we don't talk about that game but for me this is my number seven favorite sonic game of all time which is sonic colors it's actually a pretty enjoyable game I really enjoy this game a lot. I still enjoy like all the power-ups and also Sonic just like doing like other cuts. I mean, other cutscenes are actually pretty enjoyable also. This is one of the best openings of Sonic history. Like it's so good. Like this song is probably one of the best um, 
openings of all time it is like one of the best sonic openings not really but it's definitely up there um the combat and also like everything else it's just like it's mostly standard sonic game that you possibly see a lot from the other sonic games that you actually do and it's definitely pretty enjoyable but the powers in this game is actually pretty good and it's pretty enjoyable at the same time and also the story is actually pretty interesting and of course the music is pretty good too like every sonic game has like really good music in the game and this one is actually pretty good and like it has like a lot of bangers in the game for sonic colors and overall i still enjoyed it definitely my number seven for sonic games and number six oh boy we're getting close to the top ten the top five and closer we're getting close to that which is sonic riders this game is so good it's probably underrated to me like sonic riders it's like that game that people don't really play it that much i mean for right now women don't play it because they don't have the game of course they don't but i mean of course you can play on your pc but now you just need to download it and just play it but for this game it is so good it's probably one of the best sonic games i ever played like this game was the big generation for sonic it was but when it gets to free riders it just blow up everything it just turned out to be like some dog shit game for that and i really hated that so much and also of course the writing system for this and also the racing it's actually really good and also you get to play with some friends too back in the day and i did that too with a lot of like a lot of friends that i had back then and i wish they can bring this back if they do this would probably be one of the best sonic games ever like it would have been something else in like the new future if that actually happened but we'll see definitely a really good sonic game really good but now we get to top five this is probably going to be some bias to me because these top five right here are probably one of my favorite sonic games so so the top five we have got sonic generations i forgot to add this on my list because i remember that time playing this game when i was a little kid i had the playstation of course but bro this game is so good it's probably one of the most enjoyable Sonic games ever. You get to play as classic Sonic. Like, it's so good. Like, the classic vibe for Sonic, it's right there. It is so good. And they added a lot of um, the classic Sonic stages in that game. Like, that that was really enjoyable. And also the remix in that game. This The OST is so good. And I like how the, the, like, the story continues on with classic Sonic and Sonic working together and also alongside with classic Tails and Tails, main Tails too. And it's really good how that dynamic really is because it does a really good job when it comes to these characters. And also the, the combat is actually really good. Of course, it's same, same old, same old um, Sonic games. It's similar, but different though. F fighting against Shadow and all the bosses too. Even Silver as well. That was pretty badass. I wish they could bring that back into the Sonic games. But yeah, this was a really good game. But this is the only one of the Sonic games that you can actually enjoy. And I'm really happy that they are bringing Shadow in for Sonic X Shadow Generations. And let's see how that game goes. Because this game actually looks pretty fire and we have to see how shadow does because this is like taking place between what like when sonic um got separated with all his friends that the time thing just like took everyone else like in a big freaking portal we just have to save everyone but pretty sure that shadow is going to be doing the same thing in that game i really hope that shadow does like like some really good combat and all that stuff because he's fighting up against the bio lizard and also freaking what nah this is gonna be an insane game i can't wait for this game sonic generations pretty good solid game give it a try also when it comes to sonic x shadow generations you know that game is going to be a banger but number four we have got sonic adventure this is actually one of the most classic games i ever played in my life and i really enjoyed this game when i first played it and we're gonna get to the the, the next game pretty soon because the next game i'm gonna be talking about we're gonna talk about that not not right now but for this one oh man like sonic adventure was just a classic game like this was like the most 3d game ever made and i wish they could like kind of like bring that back a little bit but they kind of did that with the 06 and also sonic frontiers but we need that more stylish game that we possibly can get in the near future and for sonic adventure it just did a perfect game great story overall and it's just like i mean can the, the mechanics in the comic can be better yes it can but overall it's still enjoyable you get to play as knuckles amy tails and also big the cat and also anyone to gamut like all that stuff like you can play those characters and it's so good it is awesome to do that and overall man if they remaster this game or like get a remake i'm there day one and also the top three for sonic games we have got sonic adventure 2 
Sonic Adventure 2 is such a banger. I don't care. This is such a banger game right here on this list. This is probably the bet one of the top three best Sonic games of all time, in my opinion. This is probably one of the most beloved games ever made and people still play it and still people still love it till this day because of shadow because shadow is the most one of the most iconic characters of all time and we're getting him at sonic movie 3 because that's going to be the most hypest thing in cinema history because a lot of people love shadow he, he's still he's still dying in the game but you know why because like he had to save everyone else like from this freaking mirror thing that which was happening against the biohazard and after that they just wanted to bring that guy back because he was just like so popular he was just a popular character people love shadow a lot and i'm very happy we're getting him in this movie and i can't wait to see who the voice actor is for sonic um movie 3 and i'm and of course that game is going to be adapted and i like that from sonic adventure 2 because it had so many moments and so many like one of the most iconic um cutscenes that they actually do in the game and it's really good and also knuckles tails like the gameplay for them are really good too i mean tails is kind of like my least one but knuckles though it's pretty challenging though but you have to get the hang of it but mostly it's still really enjoyable it's still beloved by every single sonic fan in the whole community and i really hope they do something like this in the future with other games but overall definitely a banger and now we're getting to number two yes number two sonic unleashed this is one of the most best games of Sonic games of all time. This it's so good. If you guys played it back in the day, you obviously know what this game is all about. But Sonic Unleashed, it's something that like the comment for this game was awesome, absolutely like really good. And the story overall was really awesome. The music is good. Like everything about the cutscenes are awesome. And also like the story where it takes place and everything. It's so enjoyable. And I just like how like Sonic is was like the, the opening cutscene is probably one of the best cutscenes in gaming history. It is like it, it's it was awesome to see Super Sonic and also just fighting against Dr. Eggman. He just takes all his powers and he just turns to Warhog. And Warhog though, in this game is absolutely really good. It is really enjoyable. And the combat for that game is awesome for him. And you just get to fight like some monsters in the game at the nighttime. And of course, daytime, you get to turn Sonic again. It is really good. It does a good job with that. And I can't wait if they do something like that in the new future. If it gets a remaster, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get a remaster from that. No, we're not. This game does not need a remaster because you know what happened to Sonic Colors? It just turned to like a freaking nightmare. And yes, this game is goaded, of course. But now it leads to number one. Oh, man. Number one. It's finally here. Sonic Frontiers. Oh my goodness. Sonic Frontiers has to be the best Sonic game I ever played in my life. I have to say right now, the tie-in bosses are absolutely really dope and really awesome. But overall, the ending part of it, I wish I wish it could have been better, but this game was really good. Like this game was really, really good. Of course, like the cutscenes, it was just meh a little bit, but Sonic's tone in the game was kind of like pretty dark. What I kind of liked that from Sonic because Sometimes we don't get that from Sonic that much, but he's just a happy-go-lucky guy, but sometimes he has his serious moments, but that's in the movies, of course, but in this one, for this game, he has, like, a dark tone inside of him because he was trying to, like, save his friends, and that's uh, that's what he's supposed to do. But well, we're going to get that DLC, like, in a little bit right now, but for this game, for Sonic Frontiers, it is really good. The music is good. Um, the cyberspace levels are actually pretty enjoyable, and also um, like the bosses for that fight, they, when they play the music, it just hits differently. But let me know what your favorite on time boss really is for this game, but the DLC though, was actually a banger. It is really good. They made this game 10 times better than the, like ever since the game came out, but the DLC was something to play as like tails knuckles and amy they brought all that stuff back but it was pretty good the music for that is good for them too as well and the final fight for that is just wow it's out of this world but yeah this is my top 10 favorite sonic games of all time what is your top 10 favorite sonic games of all time put that in the comment section down below which one's your top 10 favorite sonic games of all time let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if you guys want to see more of this content like sonic content on the channel make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of these um topics and discussions or anything like that but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace